What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. So today I have a little change of plans. I was originally going to work on the 64 Impala, give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough for that. But due to the timeline for the bodywork and paint, I actually have to finish up the 67 Continental. So let's just hop right into it and I'll show you guys what we have going on for today. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is actually be installing this sound deadener and thermal shield. The reason I want to do this is so when that patch is put in place under the driver's seat, I can actually start laying down the carpet. Uh, this is self-adhering, so it should be fairly easy. As I mentioned in previous videos, there's a lot of construction going on next door, so I'm just gonna make a little time lapse, but let's get right into it. So as you guys saw, I was able to get a lot of the work done on the interior. I did run out of materials, so tomorrow I'm actually going to go pick up some more, possibly find a headliner. I did find a lot of headliners online, but I'm not sure how quickly they could get here, but I want to get that done as soon as possible. The reason I want to actually put the sound damper on the roof before I put the headliner up is because it is a very thin sheet of metal that's on the roof, and I just want it as quiet as possible inside the car. But in the meantime, tomorrow I am going to be dropping off some of these parts that came in as well for the seats. Maybe we can get a little bit of an update on how that reupholstery is coming along, but I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, so it is the next day. As I promised, I'm going to go check up on my guy that's doing the interior. Right now, what we're going to go through is just some of the uh, packages that I had come in. It's just a few pieces that I was missing, such as like the trim that goes around the seats, uh, as well as the center armrest for the front. So let's just hop right into that and get on the road. All right, guys, so two of the pieces were really difficult to film just because of how tightly they were packed. That was the back panels for the front seats, as well as the center armrest, as I had mentioned. But I tossed everything in the trunk. Let's go drop this off right now. So I made it back. There wasn't any updates on the interior, so I didn't film any of that. I just dropped the rest of the pieces off. Right now I made it back to the 67 Continental, so let's just get started on this roof.
As you guys saw, I was able to finish that roof. And the reason I actually spray painted it black again in the last clip was because the original headliner has perforations. And I actually did order that original headliner. It's gonna be coming in any day now. So I just didn't want that silver metallic color kind of peeking through it. But right now what I'm gonna go do is note down any major bodywork that my guy's gonna have to fix up before he paints it. And on top of that, New wheels are coming in tomorrow, guys. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna go spray these with WD-40. As you saw, they're kind of battered down. Uh, they're torn up from just being pushed around, rolled around everywhere. So I'm gonna go get those wheels ready for tomorrow. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Guys, that is actually gonna be it for today's video. I was originally gonna film a lot more, but it was such a busy day because the tow truck came and picked up the car to drop off at the body shop. Uh, as you saw, I just gave you a little sneak peek of what the new wheels look like. Totally redesigned the car sitting on some 22s. But once the car comes back, I'll make sure to go into depth about what we did as far as the body, what I chose for the paint, the wheels, things like that. Um, as far as the suspension, I got something crazy planned for you guys. I think you're really going to like it. So I'm super excited to get the car back. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. I'll make sure to get an update on the interior as well. Hopefully that's coming along nicely. So once the car is done on the outside, we can start piecing it back together on the inside as well. Um, other than that, I got two packages in today. One of them was the headliner. As I told you guys, I wanted the original one. It came super quickly. So once the car comes back, I'll make sure to save that so we can kind of go through it together. The other package I actually have to drop off tomorrow because it's that floor panel that goes underneath the driver's seat. As you guys saw in the previous videos, it's totally rusted through. There was no salvaging it. So I got this new piece, gonna go drop it off at the body shop so it can get welded in. Not a big deal, it's gonna be super quick, but it was definitely necessary. Other than that, make sure you guys stay posted. I owe you guys a video with the 64 Impala. I didn't forget about that. I'm really excited to start that journey. It's gonna be something new, uh, especially give me something to do while the Continental is being worked on. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing what you guys think, and I thank you for your support, but I'll catch you guys next time.